Hi friends, welcome to Aesthetica. This has been one month of me playing Animal Crossing. I am honestly not close to done at all, but I just wanted to share what I've done so far. So I'll show you my map. I started off with Rold and Plucky. They are my two starting villagers. Then Audie and Rhonda and Al were actually my next three villagers that I got. And I got Audie from villager hunting, so that was really fun that I got her right away. And then we have Annalisa, Deirdre, Judy, Melba, Maggie, and Ed. So not every part of my island is full, but I just wanted to share what I've done so far, and I want to just kind of create little updates so I can track my progress. So first off, I have a yellow airport. And we can come here, and this is the Abel sisters to the left. I'm really happy with this area. This was my first really attempt at terraforming. I have kind of like a double waterfall back there, as you can see. And just like this little park area, and I think it's so cute. Then we come down to Audie's Beach. She is my California girl. So I wanted to give her a little beachy area and her own little private beach. And she loves shopping, of course. So she is right next to the Able Sisters. So we come up here. Oh, let me see Annalisa thinking. Um, one thing I don't like is I can't walk through here, so I'm going to fill in the cliff over there. But here we have our tiny little neighborhood area. I am not sure if I want to create neighborhoods or just have each villager have their own individual area or like a mix of that. Right now I'm sure I don't want to keep Rhonda and Ed forever because I have other dreamies I want to get and they're not really my dreamies at all. But I love them still. So they're just in this cute little neighborhood area. They share this little table and they share this little lily garden and I'm trying to grow more flowers but it's not really happening right now. And this is my first custom path that I put down. I didn't make it but I am very happy about it. And I love how Rhonda's house looks kind of like a little cottage. So we come down here. Oh, and there's Plucky. I'm growing more lilies here. This is literally just the beach. There's not much here. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do with this whole area. Got a sand castle yesterday. And again, not much. Literally, the beach is very bare. So here, when I got all the wedding stuff, I wanted to make a little wedding venue. But you can see I never really finished it. This was before I unlocked the custom paths and terraforming and everything. So I placed these all down manually and it's just kind of a lot. <laughs> so I don't know if I want to keep this or if I want to get another peppy villager and say that they have a little wedding area and that they have a wedding area near their home or what I'm going to do about that. We come around here and this is actually where my house is but we'll come to that last. This I am very happy about. I'm still working on it but this is Melba's lighthouse. She is so cute, and I never knew she existed. Um, but then I came across her while villager hunting, and I'm literally in love with her. She's so cute, and she deserves the world. So this is her little lighthouse area. And I imagine her sitting here, drinking coffee by the waterfall, just looking out at the ocean. So we come down here again. This area, you can see my extra... Um, items because I don't have enough storage. <laughs> I created, I have no idea what I'm doing with this area, but we're just keeping it like that for now. We come up here. This is Annalisa's area, so it's kind of like an Asian garden. Again, I'm still working on this too. I don't have a path or anything here. I just kind of play some items and I'll have to create more bamboo in this area, get rid of the tulips and the flowers. I feel like at least the t red tulips and stuff. I'm not sure. And then I created this little Zen bridge in this tiny little island. I think it's super cute. I'm going to make this like a little tea garden, like an area where she can have tea while looking at the pagoda that I got from Gulliver. I'm going to come around here to the other side of this ramp. Again, there's not much else here. I don't know what I'm going to do here, but I do like that parts of my island are very symmetrical. I think that a big part of it is that there's going to be a symmetry part because that's the more developed area and then the other parts are going to become more natural once you kind of get away from the center of the island and that's something I really like. Again, my native um, flowers were tulips and so I wanted to create kind of like a tulip field like they have in Holland and the Netherlands I think. And also in Portland we have one like this too and so I thought it'd be really cute to have that kind of like an homage to what we have. 
and um, just keep it like that. I don't know. I need to get more black tulips though and any other color tulips that there are. We have Stonehenge over here. Not sure where that's actually going to go. Up here is Maggie's house, but she is leaving. I kind of like am just growing flowers randomly in some places. <laughs> and this is kind of like the farming area. Not much farming, but we have our orchard. I don't have pears or cherries yet. And I got, I made this beekeeper hive kind of thing. So we're going to work this out more, try and make it more of like a little farming area. And again, I don't know what I'm going to do with this extra areas too. Still got to figure all that out. So we come here and we have our museum and our only fountain. I might change that up later, but I'm not sure. Also, I'm not sure if I want to only have this as our main path in the developed areas or if I want to have a mixture because I think that this the structure of this looks really nice um, and like obviously in front of like the museum and things they're gonna have more well structured items or landscape I guess <laughs> and so then we come here down the little forest um, again I haven't done much here this is another custom path that I put down not the one that I made and we are gonna go all the way to the campsite and so I have these bears here because I didn't know what to do with them we have a little seating area that our campers or even just our villagers who want to go on a hike can go eat at we have this little bonfire by the beach so a radio some music I think this is really fun this was like one of the first things I put together um, so obviously still a lot of improvements need to be made, but I'm happy with it for now. Um, yeah, so let's go back. I have a couple of items here. Again, the beaches aren't very done. I still don't know what I want to do with most of my island, so, uh, I have to figure that out. So we're coming down past the museum, and come here, and we're at resident services. And so resident services was literally off center by one like one little square which was so annoying so that's why I created that whole little waterfall area and then I put this here because I was like I need to fill up the space somehow Ooh, let's talk with Annalisa oh no oh, it's so sad of course I can Aww. This game is so wholesome. I love it. <laughs> okay, but yeah, so I just created this. I'm not sure if I like it yet. It's like a little playground area, little park. And then I have a picnic area too. And yeah, I'm still trying to figure out what I want to put in this area, but I needed to do something because it was off center. So this is what I ended up doing. And I'm pretty happy with it around here. Hi, Leaf. I love him so much. I love sloths. Audie is watering the flowers, and then we're back at Nook's Cranny. So, now I'll take you to the right side of the first part of our island. I have Plucky's house here. Again, I'm randomly just growing a bunch of flowers. <laughs> and so, there's a lot of roses here. This is Plucky's house. I want her to leave. She still hasn't left, but maybe she will eventually. This is Rold. I love him so much. He's so silly. He's like, oh, I'm a jock. But in reality, he's like this little cute penguin. Um, I gave him this little tricycle because I feel like that's something he would ride. I, we're going to call this Rold's Pond. So eventually I'm going to move all of these houses except for Rold's because he loves fishing here. He'll actually come here and open the toolbox and then he'll close it and then he'll go fishing, which is super cute. And I put these here originally. Oops, sorry, Deirdre. I put this here usually as or originally as Plucky's like stuff, but I'll move it eventually. I don't really know if I want to keep that there. This is Judy's house. Again, I'm going to move a lot of them around and some of them aren't staying, so I'm not sure what I want to do with it yet. Yeah, so I have this whole kind of free range area that I need to figure out what I'm going to do with. <laughs> but, oh, let's go to my house. That is the last part of this. Um, on my island, there was a natural heart pond, and that is why I decided to do this one. My boyfriend and I were like, that is super cute. So this is going to be my area. I Look, I just have a bunch of random furniture out here because I 
have no storage. I only have two rooms and I need to pay off my debt to Tom Nook. But I've just been focusing on paying off the bridges and things because nobody else pays for those, which is kind of annoying, but yeah. <laughs> Hi. So we come into my house. Um, It's kind of like, I don't know. I think it's pretty cute. It's not, hmm. the furniture isn't all from the same collection. But over here we have my dog and his pet bed and his food. <laughs> it's kind of ironic to have a pet um, in this game. But I like it. This is kind of my little changing area. I hung up that sweater. And then I have only three mermaid items so far. I have the bed, the table, and the lamp. And I have a little hamster there because I didn't know how else to place everything. This is kind of my other getting ready area. I have this panel. Again, I... I need to move that. I have the Cancer Zodiac table, the jukebox, and then just like these little chairs here. And then, okay, this was my boyfriend's idea. This. <laughs> so I, <laughs> I'll turn on the light, but oh goodness. Um, you can see that I have two sharks here. This is my bathroom because the walls are the fish that are swimming around and the bottoms like water if you can see closely you can see it's kind of splashing around so I made this he had told me that I should put the sharks in here so I did um this is my little bathroom it's really not that great I'm definitely gonna change it eventually but it's just kind of funny that it's like this for now um yeah I really like that the jellyfish can be turned on and like it looks kind of cool at night it's hard for you guys to see because of my reflection but I hope that that's okay. But yes, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed. And let me know if you want to see me go villager hunting. Um, I found Judy on Money Rock Island after two or three islands the last time I went villager hunting. So hopefully my luck stays with me so that you guys can see me have other cool villagers. Or even just find other bad ones. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Bye!